Let's have a look at PowerDirector 12's new Multicam Editing plugin. It's accessed by the plugin symbol here. Let's have a look at it. We have one, two, three, four camera tracks with individual previews, and we have another preview for the selected track. We have timelines in the traditional fashion down at the bottom for each camera, together with one for imported audio. We have a number of ways of synchronizing our videos. And there's a manual method, time codes, file created time, audio analysis, or markers on clips. We can also have a choice if we choose audio analysis of the audio sources of camera one to four or an imported audio. Let's get started. I've loaded three clips into my media library, two of which I've got selected here. Let's get on to the Multicam Designer. What we find is anything that's highlighted in the media library is auto-loaded into our designer interface. I need two more clips. I'm going to take one from the media room, the tailstock video, and I'm going to take one from my hard drive, and that is the talking head video. We've got our four video camera shots in. You'll notice that they all start at T0. They're all recorded at different lengths and different times, and we need to synchronize them. I'm going to choose camera four, the talking head camera, and I'm going to choose audio analysis, and we press the apply button. PowerDirector analyzes all four videos, auto arranges and auto synchronizes them for us. Yeah, that looks to be almost spot on. Any track that isn't spot on, we can use the little nudge arrows here to move them one frame backwards or forwards at a time. That is one way of synchronizing four camera tracks using audio analysis. One of the other key methods of synchronizing would be to use timeline markers. So now I have gone through each of my individual clips, it's a little time consuming, to find the exact mark that I need to be synchronized to. I apply the mark by doing a right click and choosing the set marker at the appropriate point. I've done all that. I now choose the markers on clips synchronization method and I apply it. Immediately, PowerDirector 12 lines up all the clips. Now, having synchronized our videos, this is the fun part. We use this great interface like a mixing desk. Let's set the record button going. I'm going to start with the talking head. We'll take another shot from the tailstock. We'll take an overhead shot. Then we'll take a chuck shot and back to the talking head. So there's a nice little bit of mixing that's been done. Now, having done our mixing, let's press OK and accept it into the main timelines. This isn't just a recording. This is actually really more mark in and mark out recording. So each of these small clips from the, each of the different cameras can actually be extended to its full size if necessary. So final editing can be quite precise. It's really a great new facility, well worth trying. Thanks for watching.